21st century man from his perspective. The much awaited, the long awaited, you expected it to come. Here it is, the 21st century man from his perspective. You know, when we talk of man, what comes to your mind? I don't know. But one thing is certain. We have a moment where men are being defined by so many things. But we have to talk about manhood. And this is the show where we are going to talk about manhood. We are going to talk about real issues affecting real men living in the 21st century. Welcome to the 21st century man from his perspective as we handle this. In fact, I am reminded of certain things. One, the text that says, give me a man. And, and this is Samson, this is not Samson, this is Goliath, who is saying, give me a man. Mm -hmm. And the cry of the world today is, give me a man. Mm -hmm. I look at Pilate, and what does Pilate say in John 19.5? Behold the man. Can we be able to behold some men in this 21st century? We are talking of real issues affecting real men. And I'm not going to forget to ask God, what is the question that comes from God concerning manhood? Go with me to the book of Genesis chapter 3 and verses 9, and he will say, Adam, where art thou? We are speaking to men, we are asking men where they are, and we want to point where real men are. You have heard it as a mantra said everywhere that the greatest want of the world is the want of men. Men will not be bought or sold. Mm. Men who in their inmost souls are true and honest. Mm. Men who will stand for right though the heavens fall. Men who are not afraid to call sin by its name. Mm -hmm. This is your show and this is the moment you have been waiting for. We are going to talk mm. about men. We are going to unpackage the 21st century man as he is supposed to be in this time. We are going to talk about man, explaining, can he provide? Can he protect? Is he successful? Is he emotional? Can he be able to stand as a spiritual guide? Welcome to this show. And you are not going to be disappointed as you go through this show. It's going to be a blessing. Stay right there. century man from his perspective yes we get back to this moment when I just want to welcome real men <laughs> and, and, and I always like saying this real men can talk about men issues mm. and we are going to talk about men issues at this moment on the show with me is my brother pastor Solomon Ogutu mm. who will be talking to us today and also, I have my brother Felix, who will be able to guide us as we go through this. And I am your host, Chief Andrew. Mm -hmm. This is the show, The 21st Century Man from His Perspective. Mm -hmm. For a moment, allow us to go to the streets. As I said, people talk about man. Mm -hmm. Let's go here. What do they say about the man? Mimi nataka ni seme mzee ama mwanaume ni mutu maana sana. Ni kiumbe cha kwanza ambao Mungu akaumba kule pustani mwa Eden. Yeye ni kiongozi, yeye ni kuani. Kinzi Kristo ni kuani kule mbinguni. Mwanaume pia ni kuani katika nyumba yake. Yeye pia ni mtu ambaye anategemewa sana kwa mambo ya spiritual sight. Kwa mambo ya kiroho, Mzee ni mtu sana. Yeye anataka apeane kafara kwa familia yake jinsi ayupu alivyokuwa na jali watoto wake na alikuwa analeta kafara ya kila mtoto kwa hivyo mzee ama papa wa nyumba ni mtu wa maana sana ambaye anataka atoe kafara kwa watu wake asikui kafara ya jioni pia 
21st century man from his perspective. Wow. From the streets to the table. Mm -hmm. Yes. From the streets the table. to the bench. Yes. From the streets to here where real men are seated. Yes. And we are going to talk about this. Mm -hmm. What are the better place to start with about man mm -hmm. than his relationship mm -hmm. with, with the ultimate? Mm -hmm. And that's what I want us to start today. Mm -hmm. Tell me something. You know, I, I said in uh, Genesis chapter 3 verses 9, mm -hmm. it is God who first inquires where is man. Mm -hmm. And what is the position, what does God represent of man? Mm -hmm. In fact, mm -hmm. when I say it, I'm almost telling myself mm -hmm. that God is saying, but I left you to represent me well. Mm -hmm. What happened? We, we start with the blame coming from man. Mm -hmm. In Genesis chapter 3, yeah. the woman you gave me. Mm -hmm. Tell me something. <laughs> tell me something. Before I tell you anything, mm -hmm. there is a name I love to hear. Mm -hmm. The name I love to sing, mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. It is a name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. The ultimate mm -hmm. priest of all time. Mm -hmm. The greatest man who has ever come to tell us of the good tidings of the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. That is the name I love to hear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as I start as a man, I want to start with that person. I want to pick the examples which he gave me. Mm -hmm. I want to start with him. Mm -hmm. I want to continue with him. Mm -hmm. And I wow. want to end with him. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's, it's almost like you're saying, like the woman at the well. This, this woman comes to the well and mm -hmm. says, um, I'm, I'm looking for something. I'm looking for something. But a time comes mm -hmm. when the woman at the well meets Jesus. And from that point, the woman goes to say, come see a man. Mm -hmm. Leave alone even the woman at the well. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mary Magdalene, mm -hmm. when she's walking by the garden mm -hmm. and sees a man mm -hmm. and he th she thinks that that one is a gardener. Mm -hmm. and the writer of the song comes forth and say, I come to the garden alone mm -hmm. when the dew is still on the roses mm -hmm. and the voice I hear falling on my ear, mm -hmm. the son of God is closest mm -hmm. and he walks with, with me, me and he talks, talks with, with me. me and he tells me I am his I own. Am his own. Mm -hmm. Mm. And the joy we share as we tarry there, as we tarry there none, other none, none other, other has ever, ever known. Felix, tell me something. You, you see, the man is called into a very unique relationship with God. Mm -hmm. And uh, God demands that that relationship has to be preserved. Mm -hmm. That is why you find that uh, in, in Genesis where you just hinted, things go wrong, but God demands of the man. It's not the man who wow. has really caused the problem, but then God comes, where are you? Wow. Because you, there, you, is a, there is a, a unique relationship with God. F F Felix, you're making it interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to cut you, but you'll pick yes, it from yeah, there. Yes. You, you're making it interesting uh -huh. that there is a problem, uh -huh. and the problem we know uh -huh. has not been caused yes, by the man yes, by initially. The man yes. But he must take responsibility. He must take responsibility. Why must men take responsibility for the problems we are facing? Yes. You, you see, God demands of the man that uh, the man has to show leadership. Leadership all round. Mm -hmm. And you see, as they say, the buck stops with the leader. Mm. It doesn't matter what happened. Mm. Mm. But at the end of the day, we come and say, Andrew, what happened? Mm. Probably you are not even present in the scene, but because <sighs> you are the leader. Ah. And it has to be all round. Adam, so, so where uh, art uh, thou? Where not are you? <laughs> not Eve. Uh, not Eve. Adam, where are you? Where are you? Because Adam is responsible for <sighs> Eve. So you don't go to Eve, you go to the higher authority. Uh, Andrew, Andrew. Wow. <laughs> uh, I'm working I'm working in Kindube. Yes. Something goes wrong in my house yes. in mm -hmm. Kisumu. Mm -hmm. oh, God is calling me all the way from Kindube. Yes. From Kindube. So Solomon, yes. answer. What is wrong? What happened? Tell what, us. What, what, what has happened? happened with your son? <laughs> wow. I'm not in the house. Wow. Because mm -hmm. there is a particular unique relationship that God builds with the man. And, and God, when he is creating, he hopes that the, the woman will fit into the man and then that relationship is spread down. You see, when, when we're talking about uh, uh, the, the psalmist, when he's talking about the oil that is poured in, uh, on Aaron, he says mm. it's poured on the head, but then it comes down. Mm. It's, the same, it's the same relationship uh, almost, such that when, when God relates with the man, that relationship is expected to trickle down. You, you, you know, mm -hmm. I read something and, mm -hmm. I, and I hear that man was created in the image and likeness of God. Correct. And, and when we're talking of the image and likeness of God, mm -hmm. we are basically saying that I want you to perfectly represent me. Yes. Mm. Ah. 
you, you, you know those wonderful reads that we spend time with? Yeah. And, uh -huh. and I, I, I was spending time with this mm -hmm. one, and, and it says that Christ is waiting with longing desire mm -hmm. for the manifestation of his character in the church. Yes. Mm -hmm. In other words, one of the reasons God has even failed to come mm -hmm. is because he's not properly represented. No, he's looking at his church and he's wondering, mm, this one, not mine. But who should represent him? Where does the church begin? The man. Now, uh, wow. I'll it, answer it, that so quickly. It, it has to begin with the man. How? Because you see, the quality of the church will depend with the quality of the house. Are there? So, so, so you're, him, saying, uh, you're saying the, the, man, the, the house develops the church, the church, but the man develops the house. Okay, now finish. Uh, and, and you see in our culture, we say that for those of us who still eat flesh, that the fish rots from the head. Mm. When the head is rotten, the entire fish is gone. Wow. And so when the fish is rotten from the head, it doesn't matter what the tail looks like. Wow. So that means <laughs> the man in the house, mm. Andrew, have you, if have the you, head have is you, rotten, have you heard that? Wow. every other thing is gone. Wow. Just, just a minute. Andrew, have you, have you heard that? That's serious. That when the head is rotten, it doesn't matter how the tail looks like. Yes. Even and if it is as fresh as what. Mm. And you see, it, it seems like what you are even insinuating, uh -huh. and, and, and what even we are talking about mm -hmm. is that in every situation mm -hmm. where the head mm -hmm. is rotten mm -hmm. we are going to have a challenge yes in fact mm -hmm. do you know you're almost implying that when we see complaints from ladies mm -hmm. it is not that the ladies want to be powerful yeah they're just saying there is no head there is no head you see for, for, you sure? for us today we demand submission are you sure uh -huh. I am sure that ladies, you, you, you see, uh -huh. the woman folk <laughs> abhors a vacuum. Yeah. Uh -huh. They don't like when there's a vacuum. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why you see they, they, they're very quick and, and how to sort mm -hmm. things. Now, a man who is seated at the head mm -hmm. will ensure that there is no vacancy. Mm -hmm. You see, women are like HR managers. Mm -hmm. They are watching out, is there a vacancy? <laughs> Human resource managers, is there a vacancy? Uh -huh. If there is a vacancy, let's fill it. Uh -huh. But you see, mm -hmm. you don't declare vacancy when mm -hmm. the CEO is seated on his seat. Mm -hmm. You don't declare. Yeah. HR manager cannot hire mm -hmm. or even put an acting position mm -hmm. when there's no vacancy. Yeah, you Could it be that there's a vacancy? Yeah, you see, Chief, uh, the ladies have no problem with submission. Oh. The problem is, to what are you submitting? <laughs> you, you, you can't submit to a vacuum. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> you, you can't just submit to a vacuum. Yeah, Felix, Felix wow. I'm, I'm requesting that you go slow on the, you go slow on, on the 21st century man. Yeah. No. They don't have a problem with submission. Uh -huh. mm. The problem is whom are they submitting to? to. Mm. Or what are they submitting yes. to? Mm -hmm. ah. How? But, but, but I, I think we need to put a text to this. We need to put okay. a text to this. And, and, and I really want, I, I, I know the man of Tarsus, <laughs> your friend. <laughs> Saul himself. Saul himself. Yes. In, in, in Ephesians chapter 5, mm -hmm. listen to this in verse 22. Mm -hmm. It says, wives submit to your own husbands. Mm -hmm. Wives are not even told to submit to, to elders. Mm -hmm. They're not told to submit to pastors. Mm -hmm. They're told own, wives own. submit to your own husbands. Yes. For the husband mm -hmm. is the head of the wife, even mm -hmm. as Christ mm -hmm. is the head of the church. Mm -hmm. So we are talking of mm -hmm. priestly ministry. Yes. We are talking of God's representative. Mm -hmm. Have you realized that it is the husband who is compared to Christ? Yes. That, that, comparison, mm -hmm. that comparison is very powerful. And the mm -hmm. wife is compared to the church. Yes. yes. That, that comparison is very powerful. Somebody once mentioned that when you have a pastor... Mm -hmm. <coughs> and you have elders, and you have church members. Mm -hmm. The moment there's a, a problem between the pastor and the elders, mm -hmm. there's going to be a problem with the congregants. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because the direct link between the, ch the, the, the church members mm -hmm. and the pastor are the elders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if there's, a, there's a, a relationship here which is rotten, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the elders have a direct link completely. Mm -hmm. They'll go and tell the, the congregants that, mm -hmm. you know, the pastor is a bad person. Mm -hmm. What you tell the church members is mm -hmm. what yes. they pick mm -hmm. because they are always loyal. Mm -hmm. In other words, mm -hmm. when the pastor cannot contain mm -hmm. the elders, in this case, if the head mm -hmm. 
mm. cannot contain the person who is next, mm. the immediate person after him who is the wife, mm. the children are going to be in a mess. Mm. Contain. Mm. You've used a contentious word. Contain. Does it mean that he, <laughs> he, 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 he's making life difficult for them? I, I, I think <laughs> <laughs> it's, not about, it's not about making <laughs> life to be difficult. Uh -huh. what, what is, it? what is this it's, it's about being in charge. Yeah. No, there, no, no, there's, no. A, there's a message of direction which comes from this person. Mm. Don't run by words. Mm. How is he in charge? Mm -hmm. You it, see, when you are connected mm -hmm. to the ultimate power, yes. the power that you give mm -hmm. can be trusted. That is true. Mm -hmm. Can you be in charge when you are not connected to the right channel? Go to the book of um, Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. The book of Jeremiah chapter 3, verses uh, 15. The Bible says, and I will give you pastors. This mm -hmm. translation talks about, and mm -hmm. I will give you pastors. Mm -hmm. Others say, I will give you shepherds, uh, shepherds mm -hmm. according to my heart, mm -hmm. who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Mm -hmm. Mm. I will give you shepherds. Mm -hmm. I will give you pastors. Mm -hmm. I will give you leaders mm -hmm. according to my heart. Mm -hmm. Remember that word appears with that, the other man, mm -hmm. David, mm -hmm. a man after God's own heart. Yes. So when he says that, I'm going to give you a husband. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you a priest. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you so and so. The head mm -hmm. who is after my own heart, mm -hmm. who is going to feed you mm -hmm. with knowledge and understanding. Mm -hmm. That knowledge comes from God. Mm -hmm. Yes. That understanding comes from God. Yes. So it trickles down from the creator himself mm -hmm. to the head of the family now to the person who is next to the, who is the wife the message which is going to reach the subject mm -hmm. who are the christians who are the children in that home mm -hmm. are going to be direct from god mm -hmm. given to man mm -hmm. coming down amen wow that's profound you, you see what pastor is saying uh, to an extent links with the the very bas basic uh precepts of what the priest uh, priesthood ministry is and the prophets if we try to link them Priest, uh, uh, the, 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 the you, priests. you're bringing an angle I, yes. I think mm -hmm. I, I would like us to just take a break uh -huh. uh, so that we just synthesize what has been said and yes. uh -huh. after the short break we'll uh -huh. come back to that the priest yes the prophet yes the man yes let's take a short break thank you 21st century man from his perspective for god so loved the world oh, love that will not let me go behold what manner of love yes come see what manner i, I can't tell you. you have to see it for yourself that he gave his only begotten son redeem, redeem, redeem. i think it's important for us to forgive even if they do not confess but for me as a christian i need to confess that whosoever believes in him God's intention for us is higher, way beyond what we can ever imagine. Should not perish. Follow the Lamb when the soul ever If He says stop lying, stop lying. If He said keep my commandments, we keep them. But have everlasting life. We've been studying God's Word and looking at steps that we ought to follow in order to get to know Him more. Let all things now living sing a song of thanksgiving. Let all things that have breath praise the Lord for His Word. Come everyone and join in. This brand new season is coming soon on Hope Channel Kenya. 21st century man, from his perspective. Welcome back, dear viewer, mm -hmm. to the 21st century man, from his perspective. And here we are talking about men and issues that affect men. Mm -hmm. And just before we went to the break, we were talking about the man as a priest. Yes. The man as a prophet. Yes. The man has... There are so many expectations. He's supposed to be in the stead of God. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to represent God. Mm -hmm. what, what can you tell us about the priest? Yeah, you, you, you see the man as the priest. They are, they are the things that for us to understand what exactly this 21st century man as a priest ought to do. Mm -hmm. We have to go back to the Bible a bit mm -hmm. and, and see what exactly was the role of the priest. 
what exactly was the role of the prophet and how do they link in the in the current world today yes. and and, and uh, when, when we define it in basic terms mm. the priest or the prophet let's begin with the prophet the prophet was basically supposed to be god's mouthpiece to men mm. god would speak to the prophet then the prophet would speak to the people Mm. And that is why when you look at the prophetic books, you will always find, that says the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because they were bringing exactly what God has said. They were the God's mouthpiece to men. And then the priest, on the other hand, was the people's mouthpiece to God. Because you, you find that we have sinned. I have sinned. And then I go to the priest. Mm -hmm. I tell him, priest, this and this and this is what I have done. Here is the lamb of sacrifice. Then the, 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 the priest takes the blood with my sins that I have confessed to him, then he goes before the presence of God. Mm -hmm. So the priest was supposed to bring us to God, while the prophet was supposed to bring God's message to us. Oh, but then it's interesting that when we get to the New Testament, Christ combines both. In Hebrews, we are told that God in times past spoke to the prophets. Mm. But in these days, he speaks to us through, through. his son. Yes, now he takes the role of the, the, of the prophet. And then we are also told in Hebrews again that Christ has become a better high priest for us. Mm. Now Christ doubles. Mm. But when we were beginning, you mentioned in Ephesians yes. that the man is likened to who? To Christ. So to an extent, the man is both the prophet and the priest currently. You, you, you know, when uh -huh. you bring the perspective of the priest, uh -huh. something comes to my mind. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the two things, I just want to buttress the point. Uh -huh. First of all, mm -hmm. remember the high priest yes. was expected to offer morning and evening yes. sacrifices. Yes. Mm -hmm. That was the duty of the high priest. Mm -hmm. Nobody else would offer the morning and mm -hmm. evening sacrifices. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I want, I want uh, a practical example. Mm -hmm. Then how can we offer morning and evening sacrifices? And, and mm -hmm. just... As you also look into that, mm. remember also another thing. Mm. Of the high priest, mm. one of the things we expected the high priest to do, mm. and, and this is also alluded to mm. when we read of Jesus, our high priest, mm. in Hebrews chapter 4, which mm. you've just alluded to. Mm. In Hebrews 4.14, it says, Seeing then mm. that we have a great high mm. priest that is passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son mm. of God, let us hold fast the profession. Mm. And listen to this. Mm. For we have not a high priest mm -hmm. who is not, which cannot be touched with mm -hmm. the feeling of our infirmities, mm -hmm. but one who was in all points tempted, mm -hmm. like as we are, and yet yeah, without I sin. Hey, what are we saying about the high that priest? That is where mm -hmm. that right of the song says, does Jesus care? Uh -huh. When my heart is pained, mm -hmm. we have a high priest who went through the same, same process mm -hmm. of the same, same pain. Mm -hmm. So that is why he comes to the chorus and says, oh yes, he cares. Mm -hmm. I know he cares. His heart is touched with my grief. Mm -hmm. When the days are weary and the long night rarely, I know my Savior cares mm -hmm. because he passed through that. Mm -hmm. But there's something which you mentioned. Mm -hmm. He offers the sacrifices in the morning mm -hmm. yes. and also in the evening. Mm -hmm. yes. Let us not forget, mm -hmm. once a year, mm -hmm. yes. he was also offering mm -hmm. for the cleansing of the mm -hmm. whole nation of yes. the Israel, which was atonement day. Mm -hmm. yes. So I'm looking at a high priest mm -hmm. who has decided Mm -hmm. on matters spiritual he has decided to lay down his life for the sake of the people he's leading mm -hmm. regardless in the morning he wakes up the first thing he thinks about mm -hmm. maybe look at job mm -hmm. yes pick job as an example oh, job, he job, wakes job. up in the morning go mm -hmm. back to him mm -hmm. that man mm -hmm. I love the five things or the six things which are mentioned in him mm -hmm. he wakes up in the morning and the mm -hmm. first thing he does mm -hmm. is to offer sacrifices mm -hmm. for the children mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe the morning sacrifice. The morning sacrifice. Mm. Maybe they might have done something which was wrong, mm -hmm. because he really longs. Job one verse five. It yes. was so that when the days of the feastings were gone about, yes. that Job sent and sanctified them. Yes. Rose up early in the morning, early in the morning. and offered burnt offering according to the number of them all. Yes. For Job said, yes. "It may be that my sons have sinned and mm -hmm. cast God in their hearts continually." Mm -hmm. The 21st century man as a high priest yes. is he able? Listen, mm -hmm. touched with the feelings of our infirmities, yes. does he even feel for mm -hmm. his children? Mm -hmm. That's it. Is he touched mm -hmm. with their weaknesses? Mm -hmm. Am I going to blame my children mm -hmm. when they are going wayward? Or I will be touched with their infirmities, mm -hmm. their weaknesses, mm -hmm. and I can mm -hmm. offer them before the Lord. Mm -hmm. As Job was saying, they may have sinned yes. in their hearts. Uh, yes. And you see the question that comes in that context is, is he even in touch with the children? Oh. to really understand the pain. Wow. He's even in touch with them so that at least he can know 
that this is the way of my children. Mm. On, their, on a daily basis, he can tell you what, their children, what his, his children will do from morning to evening without missing. Does he know what happens in their life? When they wake up, what next? But on this, for them. Mm -hmm. allow me on this mm -hmm. to even include the 19th century man mm -hmm. who is okay. still in existence. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> like our dads. Uh -huh. Yes. The one who might be listening to uh -huh. us this evening. Uh -huh. You have your dad, I have my dad, he has the dad. Mm -hmm. Where they are at home, mm -hmm. Is it, can they wake up in the morning mm -hmm. to mention the names of their children in prayer? Mm -hmm. Can they talk to God? Mm -hmm. Because they are the priests. As much as we are married, mm -hmm. we have our families, mm -hmm. but still we are mm -hmm. their subjects. Mm -hmm. Do they wake up in the morning to cry to God that these are the ones you gave me? These are the 21st century men. Mm -hmm. They are having their families. Mm -hmm. Do they wake up to pray? Mm -hmm. I found one thing, mm -hmm. that the 21st century man, mm -hmm. before they call the family members for the morning devotion, before they call the family members for mm -hmm. the morning prayer, mm -hmm. he should be up first of all to offer that sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Let me just tell you something. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I like saying this is a show where we get real. We mm -hmm. just have to say things that mm -hmm. we are able to do, things yes. that are being done, yes. things that we saw being yes. done. Mm -hmm. yes. Let me share with you a story. Mm -hmm. My dad, mm -hmm. he passed away a few years ago. Mm -hmm. When I was young, mm -hmm. and my dad set for us a spiritual direction. Mm -hmm. When I was young, my dad made it that th 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 there are certain things I will never forget, mm -hmm. no matter how old I get. Mm -hmm. One, every day in the morning before I went to school, mm -hmm. we had, once you have prepared to go to school, you mm -hmm. have to go to the bedside and kneel down, mm -hmm. and you have to be prayed for before you go to school. Mm -hmm. And it was the routine. Mm -hmm. If I decide to wake up late, mm -hmm. the prayers will not be shortened because I am late. Mm -hmm. He will continue talking to God about me. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, the other thing that I also realized mm -hmm. is it's not only the morning, mm -hmm. in the evening. Mm -hmm. My dad made it that we have to wake up mm -hmm. and be, uh, we have to come together mm -hmm. and be able to have evening devotion. Mm -hmm. I learned something. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm, I'm going to make a statement that may be profound. So mm -hmm. pay attention. Mm -hmm. The spiritual tone of every family mm -hmm. is set by the father. Thank you. The man sets the spiritual mm -hmm. tone of the family. Mm -hmm. I, I have heard about mm -hmm. prayers, mm -hmm. and I can tell you, mothers can pray. Mm -hmm. That is true. Mothers can and pray. That is true. But spiritual tone and direction mm -hmm. is going to be given <coughs> by none other than the well, man. What is your take of 22.6 Proverbs? Mm -hmm. train up a child in the yes. ways he should go mm -hmm. and when he grows up he, he shall never depart and he'll it. never depart from it mm -hmm. i think that is what you're trying to give us precisely Be because you're saying mm -hmm. your dad brought you up in such a way that he told you that this is what i want you to be consuming every morning mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you'll realize that the same thing you'll be doing to your sons and your daughters mm -hmm. Because you know that every morning when you wake up, mm -hmm. go down to your knee mm -hmm. and pray before you leave this house. Mm -hmm. That child of yours will also pick it. Mm -hmm. The 22nd century, the 23rd century, God willing, before Jesus comes back. Mm -hmm. So that this thing continues like this. And I'll question, and I'll always ask this question as we proceed with the show. Mm -hmm. That if you can give out that direction, mm -hmm. or rather if your dad gave you that direction, mm -hmm. you have it to date, mm -hmm. meaning... You saw it so important. You're going to give it to your daughter, your son. Mm -hmm. What if, again, your son and your daughter takes it to the next generation? Mm -hmm. Which means we are have, going to have a generation which fears the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because there's a button which is being passed. Mm -hmm. The priestly button. Mm -hmm. It is about worship and worship mm -hmm. and worship alone mm -hmm. to the creator. Yes. Elder, I may want to hear yeah. you on something as you contribute. There, there is, there is, because uh -huh. there is the aspect of uh, uh, religious or spiritual. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm playing with words, but I'm saying, <laughs> is he a religious man or is or a, a spiritual, spiritual man? man. Yes. Because you see, a religious man mm -hmm. can find himself in the daily rounds of church. Mm -hmm. You're an elder mm -hmm. and you're busy everywhere mm -hmm. and, and all those things. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. you've neglected mm -hmm. the family. Yeah. But a spiritual man mm -hmm. may transcend. Mm -hmm. I, I want to hear you. My, my pastor would say that uh, you're having more of uh, paper programs, paper work than people work. Mm. Uh, it's a routine that in our house we pray. Mm -hmm. 
these are the these are the timelines yes it doesn't matter if people feel like doing it they have to pray we, we, we follow it religiously mm -hmm. it doesn't matter solomon comes crying but he has to come either way mm -hmm. but but you see when when god talks about abraham in genesis 18 he says that i know that he will teach his household mm -hmm. uh, I, I think for us to transition from being a religious man to no, a spiritual I, 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 man. I don't know which, which translation have you read? No, I have just quoted it, but let me read it. Yes, Genesis 18, 19. 18, 19. Yes. For I have known him mm. in order that he may command his children. Okay. That's the word I wanted you to get. Command. Command. Yes. Mm. And command his means he's mm. giving yes. directions. Yes. I have known him. him. Does God know you the as man, a man? The man. Does the he man know you as a man who can be able to give mm. direction? Who can does set he know the you as a man who is suggesting? Mm. But you see, it, it comes to a point when you have to suggest, especially when people really know that you are really not part of this. <laughs> you make the plan, but you are never part of it. Oh, no. uh, for example, the 21st century <laughs> man today, yes. who goes to work at five, yes. the children are barely awake. Mm. At what time is he going to do with them the morning sacrifice? Mm -hmm. By the time the morning sacrifice time is, is, is coming, the 21st century man is gone. He's gone out there. Mm. By the time the evening sacrifice has come, by 8 p.m., he is still struggling with the jam. He's not yet home. Mm. But do you know what he has suggested? That you guys need to have a devotion before the meals. The meals never find him. How is he going to command? He has to suggest because he's not part of it. But when the, the, the man becomes mm. part of what he is teaching, people can feel it in him. He commands and gives direction. You don't command and go away. Yeah. Can, 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 can uh, the book of Joshua, uh -huh. Joshua chapter, this should be chapter what? Joshua 24. 24. Mm -hmm. The usual one. 15. 24, 15. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if it seem evil unto you to oh. serve the Lord, mm -hmm. yes. choose you this day whom you will serve, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of mm -hmm. the flood, mm -hmm. or the gods of the Amorites, mm -hmm. in whose land you he dwell. Mm -hmm. But as for me mm -hmm. and, and, my house. House. and my house, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we will serve the Lord. The Lord. Mm -hmm. Is it possible what he's bringing mm -hmm. is a very, very delicate issue mm -hmm. which we really need to address? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We talked about the sacrifice, the priest offering the sacrifice in the morning and also in the evening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When he's supposed to offer the morning sacrifice with the family, he's already up and gone. When he's supposed to offer the evening sacrifice, mm -hmm. he's still in the jam, away from home. Mm -hmm. How is it going to happen that himself mm -hmm. and the household, mm -hmm. they've decided to serve the Lord? Mm -hmm. Can we serve the Lord when we are absent? Wow. Is it possible? Uh, mm -hmm. Is it possible that the children are at home, mm -hmm. you, are, you, you, are, you are somewhere away from home, mm -hmm. they are worshipping the Lord? Is it a routine? Mm -hmm. Or is it, what, what is it? No, you, you see, when you are setting the spiritual tone, mm -hmm. you are setting direction. Mm -hmm. That is true. Mm -hmm. And direction means, mm -hmm. even if you are not physically present, mm -hmm. and that doesn't mean you have to be absent always. Mm -hmm. In fact, in, in, in one, of, uh, one of the episodes, we're going mm -hmm. to dwell deeply into this, mm -hmm. of the present man. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it means you are able to set it such that when he is grown, he mm. will not depart from it. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't become a routine, mm -hmm. but rather becomes a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. That lifestyle is set by the man. Mm -hmm. A household where the man has decided to... Re what could I say? Mm -hmm. To avoid his duty. Mm -hmm. Or even to neglect his duty mm -hmm. of giving the spiritual direction. Mm -hmm. In that household, mm -hmm. we are going to get to a level whereby mm -hmm. the day when you're not there, nobody can preach. Yeah. And, and now we, 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 we can't can, do devotion when you're absent. We, we can throw in something and say that then, therefore, the, the priesthood ministry is a ministry of presence as well. You're very on point. You have to be present. It's a present ministry. Yes. yes. You, you don't delegate that now the priest delegates that when you come with the sheep to offer sacrifices, just do it. I'll, I'll, I'll be home. You just do it. You have to be very present. You have to be very present. Wow, wow, wow. Because you are the people's mouthpiece to God. They will tell you that this is what happened today. 
I went to school, a lot happened. There is this person that offended me. This is how I dealt with and, it. And you have to you have to listen to them. You listen to For them. For you to give then, direction. Then you take the burdens to go. Wow. Let's take a short break. Let's take a short uh, break. Uh, that is that is profound. Mm -hmm. We'll join you shortly after the break. 21st century man from his perspective hello children i have great news for you a brand new season of bible treasure quest is coming soon do you know why you believe what you believe there are things about our faith that are important for us to understand as children watch this brand new season and learn more through quizzes games stories and songs don't, don't miss, miss out, out. <laughs> 21st century man from his perspective welcome back and this is the 21st century man from his perspective a show where we are talking about men issues affecting men how men can go about handling these issues and as i have always said mm -hmm. the boy child cannot complain yeah if he complains that he's neglected, he's neglected by fellow men. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we have this show, mm -hmm. to empower the man. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about the priest before mm -hmm. we went into the short break. Mm -hmm. And we were just talking about family devotion. Yeah. And, and, and in my mind, I am thinking, what plays in the mind mm -hmm. of a two-year-old child, mm -hmm. of a five-year-old child, a seven-year-old child, mm -hmm. who believes that his father is the strongest, mm -hmm. and he sees his father is able to kneel mm -hmm before somebody else. Mm -hmm. What does he think of the somebody? Yeah, you, you see, the first thing that comes to the mind of the child would be, why is dad kneeling down? Mm -hmm. And if the child is curious enough, they will ask, daddy, why do we have to kneel? Mm -hmm. Then the, the, the 21st century man as the priest and the teacher will tell the child that we kneel because we have a power that is higher than us. Wow. The child grows knowing enough that Besides the all-powerful daddy here, mm -hmm. there is a power that is higher than us. Reverence to God. Yes. Ca that tone can be set forth. And, and, and uh -huh. let me just read for you what I read somewhere. Yes. It says that all members of the family mm -hmm. center in mm -hmm. the father. He's the lawmaker, illustrating in mm -hmm. his own manly bearing mm -hmm. the sterner virtues of energy, mm -hmm. integrity, mm -hmm. honesty, mm -hmm. patience, mm -hmm. courage, diligence, and practical usefulness. Mm -hmm. The father is in one sense the priest of the household mm -hmm. laying upon the altar the morning and the evening sacrifice mm -hmm. and i like the exegesis that mm -hmm. my good friend teddy would put on this mm -hmm. when he said that the the quote will say the wife and the children should be encouraged to unite in this offering mm -hmm. and to engage in the song of praise mm -hmm. my friend teddy the quintessential man mm -hmm. says that you know mm -hmm. When you are looking at this, it says the father should encourage. Yes. It means even these others, you may find they don't have the desire to, to attend worship. Mm -hmm. But the father, as the priest, mm -hmm. should encourage. Mm -hmm. He should be able to convince the son that, son, mm -hmm. it is wonderful to go to the house of the mm -hmm. Lord. He should be able to convince the mother. Mm -hmm. If it is time for devotion, mm -hmm. he should encourage. Mm -hmm. What do you think? The, 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 does does the man set values? Mm -hmm. Can he encourage values mm -hmm. in the family? Uh, I, I talk about this with a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. That is why I've decided to be quiet a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I come from the house of a pastor. Yes. Which means I'm a son of a pastor, a PK, a pastor's mm -hmm. kid. Mm -hmm. And I'm relating this to the story of two priests. Mm -hmm. That is priest Eli. Mm -hmm. Yes and priest Samuel. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when I normally look at this, I, I feel my heart is saddened mm -hmm. with the occurrence. Mm -hmm. The Lord calls forth Eli to come and serve. Mm -hmm. And he serves in Ramah mm -hmm. for 40 years, mm -hmm. judging and leading Israel. Mm -hmm. When time has come for the sons to take over, which is Hophni and Phineas, mm -hmm. something happens which is terrible. Mm -hmm. Hophni and Phineas decides to sleep with women mm. within the courtyards mm. of the temple. Mm. These are sons of the priest. Yes. 
which means the father has done his best. Mm -hmm. At some point, the father comes forth and says, I hear them say, what I hear is not good. Hophni and Phineas, sons of the priest, mm -hmm. the mouthpiece of God mm -hmm. to the children of Israel, a chosen generation. Mm -hmm. The sons who are supposed to walk in his ways do the opposite. Samuel himself, in chapter 2 of 1 Samuel, mm -hmm. the Bible records that he had favor in God and what? Oh. And man. Mm -hmm. But now when you come to chapter 8 verses 3, his sons never walked in his ways. Mm -hmm. They went and took bribes, mm -hmm. which made the elders to come and approach mm -hmm. Samuel himself and said, we cannot be led by this kind of people. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, that which was so good, mm -hmm. the priestly work mm -hmm. ordained by God to the people of Israel is yeah. missing. Mm. because the sons went astray. Mm -hmm. That is why I say this one makes me to be saddened mm -hmm. and truly to be saddened. Mm -hmm. Why? I'm looking at a point that I've served as a pastor mm -hmm. and as a priest of the home. Mm -hmm. A time comes when even one of my child should come and take over. Mm -hmm. Then they don't take over mm -hmm. because number one, they don't see the value of being a priest. Mm -hmm. Did the priests guide in the right direction? And, 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 mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm still developing on the story of, uh, mm -hmm. of uh, Eli. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, when you read about Eli, mm -hmm. listen to what it says in uh, 1 Samuel chapter 3, verses 13. Mm -hmm. That God says, mm -hmm. I am going to do this thing against Eli. Why? Mm -hmm. For I have told him <laughs> that I will judge his house forever for the iniquity that he knoweth. And listen mm -hmm. to this. Mm -hmm. Because his sons made themselves vile and he restrained them not. Thank you. He never questioned them. Eli did not question them. That is why I'm saying mm -hmm. that this one I'm saying with a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. Because we are put to be priests. Mm -hmm. And when priests do not question mm -hmm. the wrong things that mm -hmm. their children are doing, mm -hmm. where are we headed? We are there. there. Mm -hmm. We are there. They are there. Mm -hmm. But we, we neglect it because we are busy mm -hmm. doing other things, sacrificing mm -hmm. in the morning and in the evening. Mm -hmm for other people I think but the, we don't say to sacrifice the, the concern should yes. be do we strike a balance mm. do we strike a balance because uh, at, at what point does the priest become the husband and a father I think that's where we where we go wrong mm. uh, I am a pastor and there is if I count the number of days I fully spent in my home mm. in a year there are hardly a third of the days in the year. Mm -hmm. Who is in charge the rest of the days? Who gives direction the rest of the days? So wh where is the balance? And, and, and let, 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 let us look into, into it in the typical 21st century man who is not in the office of the, of the pastoral work or who is not the pastor, mm. but the normal uh, pastor in the house who has to work, who has to be a church elder somewhere or a departmental head somewhere, he has to balance work, church, uh, social life, and then family. Where do we strike the balance? The main problem would be sometimes the priests themselves are, are, are part of the mess that is in the family. But allow me to make a, a, a difficult statement. Mm -hmm. and, and at times you have to make difficult statements mm -hmm. when we are talking about the man. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you see what I'm saying is... Mm -hmm. um, could it be mm -hmm. that the core thing that the 21st century man should do mm -hmm. is what he has neglected? Yes. If, if you find mm -hmm. that you're supposed to be a social man, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. your children are mm -hmm. lacking that spiritual touch, mm -hmm. can I take leave yes. from social mm -hmm. to be able to do this? Yes. If, if, if I am working mm -hmm. and I am continually busy, mm -hmm. But can I be able to create time mm -hmm. and avail myself mm -hmm. to be able to give spiritual guidance? Let me tell mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. no matter how busy you are, if your child becomes a drunk, mm -hmm. you are going to spend more time busy rehabilitating the child. Mm -hmm. It's better to prevent mm -hmm. than to cure. Mm -hmm. Rehabilitating lost kids mm -hmm. is more difficult mm -hmm. than just being the priest you ought to be. In let, fact, mm -hmm. let me read this mm -hmm. as, as I give you an opportunity. Mm -hmm. In 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 29, mm -hmm. it says, and this is God speaking, mm -hmm. Wherefore kick ye at my sacrifice and at mine offering, mm -hmm. which I have commanded in my habitation, mm -hmm. and honorest thy sons above me. Mm -hmm. God says, 
You value your children more than me. Mm -hmm. And could it be that the 21st century man mm -hmm. has, has, has gotten to a point whereby mm -hmm. they don't value God? You see, mm -hmm. when we look at our God-given responsibility mm -hmm. and we value God, mm -hmm. then we are going to bring in the values. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and as you, as you comment, I want you also to talk about values. Mm -hmm. Because there the, the are values that come from God. Mm -hmm. How does the 21st century man do? You know, the, the, the 21st century man would comment and say, what don't I provide for them? Everything is in the house. You don't provide God. They, they, they don't look at it in that context. The 21st century man will say, I pay for your school fee in good schools. You have the best bills in town. You have the best dresses. And then they stop there. But do I have a mansion and then the, in heaven? And then the, the most important thing, the mansion in heaven, they tell you that's your mother to sort out. <sighs> They're forgetting they are the priest who are, supposed, who are supposed to provide that. And you will find that the 21st century man would strongly and courageously delegate that to the mother. That if I am doing every other thing, what then are you helping the kids with? What then are you, are you, are you sorting out in the house? Wow. Have, you, have you seen this uh -huh. disease mm -hmm. which normally happens so that takes place, mm -hmm. gets into an individual in the morning when people are about to go to church? Mm -hmm. That is when you really want to sleep. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's so sweet at that time. It is so sweet. Yeah. No, in fact, the sleep is sweetest on the day when you're supposed to go to church. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> on these other days, you can confidently wake up. Children are waking up before their parents wake up. Even if you don't they wake up the normal days, you will be awake but in bed. Mm -hmm. They are ready. They mm -hmm. want to go to church. Mm -hmm. You're asleep. There's a time I had a problem with my wife. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. By that time, I was not a, I was not a pastor. Mm -hmm. I was a church elder. Mm -hmm. And she kept on complaining, why were you brought up? My mother, mm -hmm. who is her mother-in-law, mm -hmm. keeps on calling and telling her, have you people gone to church? But the son who is supposed to lead them in the ways oh. of going to church <laughs> is still <laughs> sleeping. Mm -hmm. You reach the church, when you're having your big Bible, mm -hmm. and by the way, we know how to carry them, a spiritual angle of, of inclination, yeah. mm -hmm. they're always here. Mm -hmm. We carry them to church, and that's but the you point. Overslept. You overslept. <laughs> you come to church when people are about to go for mm -hmm. divine service. Mm -hmm. An appearance of piety, when inwards we are full of dead men's bones. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. You're dead. Mm -hmm. But when you present yourself in your nice suit, with very uh, shining shoes, you are headed to heaven. Mm -hmm. Onward Christian soldiers. Marching us to us war. Us marching us to war. We are marching. <laughs> With the cross of Jesus. With the cross of Jesus. <laughs> you, 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 before. <laughs> so I had a problem with my wife. And yes. she kept on asking me, how is it? People are ready. You've not even bathed. You are getting to the point I alluded to earlier mm. that the women folk abhor a vacuum. Mm -hmm. We expect you to guide us to mm -hmm. go to church. Mm -hmm. Now we are ready. We, we, we don't know what time mm -hmm. should we wake up. That one is even, you should have woken up. That one is even better. They are not then even we sure get into the, the vehicle. The faith. We get into the uh -huh. vehicle. Uh -huh. We tell them to come in. We take them very well. Mm, mm -hmm. And leave them in the compound. Then we come back. Oh, no. When they come, the church members come to visit us. We tell them, after all, I give them my offering. Mm -hmm. to wow. take to church. Wow. You're back at home relaxing on the couch, mm -hmm. maybe waiting for Manu to play in the evening <laughs> as you prepare yourself. Because, uh, you, you've said a point that I think we may look at, mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, in, 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 in my younger years, mm -hmm. when we used to listen to these choruses we, we used to sing, mm -hmm. there was one that used to say, Msiwe, msiwe, manamba wa magari, mm -hmm. wanao sema tuende, no. na wa wana baki nyuma. Uh -huh. And I think that's where we are. Mm -hmm. We have a set of men mm -hmm. who are saying, let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Mm -hmm. But they're not going. Yeah. They are staying behind. Mm -hmm. Even when we go to church, mm -hmm. men are not leading at the front. Mm -hmm. You even find Bible study, they are not talking. Yes, the yes. 21st century man should be a priest, mm. but cannot contribute anything. When it comes to Manu, you have all the points. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> when it comes to us talking about the man on the cross, uh -huh. you have zero, zero points. Nothing. Where are we getting to as the 21st century man? The man of Tassa, whom I was saying, mm. he says, if they ask you of the face you profess, mm. give them the details. Mm. But how can a 21st century man give the details of the faith he professes mm -hmm. when he, when the, some, the time he's supposed to be in mm -hmm. church, he takes them and leaves them by the, by the gate mm -hmm. and comes back home? Mm -hmm. What do you think? It is like he's paying his dues in church. Mm -hmm. I've given them the tithe. Go take it. You, you know, a random statistics in our churches will, will, will show you that uh, 
women are more in church than men. Not because the men died. Mm -hmm. They are very present. They're very present, but they don't come. And, and, and you Why see, don't they come you, you, when they're the priests? You, you see in the Old Testament, people like Noah, people like Job. Talk they, about they, Noah. They, their families were saved because of the men. Wow. But the 21st century man wants the family saved because of the children who have gone to church. So he pushes the children, and then their mother can choose to go with them. You're bringing something interesting from the Bible. <laughs> when you're saying that these people, mm -hmm. uh, it, it says, I know Abraham, yes. he will command his house. And then he says, he says as for and, me and, 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 no, house. and no walked with God. No, walked with and God. then because he walked with God, you find his family. Have you realized uh -huh. that almost in all of them, mm -hmm. I am yet to find Mrs. Noah? Mm -mm. No, no. Noah found grace Mrs. and Mrs. Noah and company. No, Mrs. Moa is submitting on Noah. She's, she has submitted. She's in Noah. Wow. And the three sons by <laughs> default got the grace. Mm. Meaning <laughs> when we have spiritual tone set. Yes. Remember what I say. Uh -huh. When it comes to prayer, mm. the ladies can pray. Yes. But spiritual tone. In the other words, to set it. you have to make the ladies know even which God they are praying to. Yes. Because if, if we don't make them know the God they are mm -hmm. praying to, mm -hmm. they will pray. You know when sometimes you make God look like you are worshipping a mediocre God, the woman looks at him and says, mm -mm. if this is the God we are worshipping in this house, let it be. A man, a man should have some kind of confidence, mm -hmm. even in deathbed, to tell them very well, I know I'm going. Yes. Mm -hmm. But your God, is with my God, mm -hmm. will visit you. Mm -hmm. God will surely visit you. Yes. Aye. He, should he, he should have that confidence. Mm -hmm. Because it is a confidence which has been developed over time. Mm -hmm. Wow. It is developed over time. Wow. I know that I'm going. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know I might not be with you. Mm -hmm. He's in his sick bed. Mm -hmm. This is a priest. Mm -hmm. His days are numbered. Mm -hmm. He's going. Mm -hmm. Whether we can, but he can assure the family. Mm -hmm. Don't be worried. Mm -hmm. wow. I know wow. that God will we'll one day visit you, mm -hmm. regardless wow. of the years. Mm -hmm. Wow! And when He visits you, mm -hmm. there's a hope for us to meet mm -hmm. when He comes back. Wow! Mm -hmm. I, I want us to give our parting shots. You know, mm -hmm. time will not allow me, as Paul will say. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you. Let, let me share with you something that a friend sent to me in the morning, mm -hmm. and it, this was alluding to Aaron. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, I don't know why Aaron has a problem. Eli has a problem. Mm -hmm. These are priests. Mm -hmm. But listen to what he says about Aaron: mm -hmm. that Aaron bore his severe affliction with patience and humble submission this mm -hmm. is at the death of his children mm -hmm. who went and offered an holy fire mm -hmm. before the presence of the Lord mm -hmm. sorrow and keen agony rang his soul he was convicted of his neglect mm -hmm. listen to that of duty mm -hmm. he was a priest of the most high God to make atonement for the sins of the people he was a priest of his household yet he had been inclined to pass over the folly of his children mm -hmm. He had neglected his duty to train and educate them to obedience, self-denial, mm -hmm. reverence to, for parental authority. Mm -hmm. Through feelings of misplaced indulgence, he mm -hmm. failed to mold their characters with mm -hmm. high reverence for eternal things. Mm -hmm. Do you know even children who are not having a spiritual appetite mm -hmm. is because the father behaved like there is no need to have spiritual appetite. Mm -hmm. I, I give you 30 seconds. Say something as we close. Thank you. Uh, to the 21st century man today mm -hmm. who is watching this show, mm -hmm. You have to begin by, first of all, building your relationship with God. Mm. That is where it begins. Don't even work on the program. Don't try to develop the devotion plan. Just begin on working yourself first, on yourself first. Then the children will see the transforming grace of Christ in you. Amen. Then they have no problem following suit. And you have to be the man of prayer and the man who is going to be the center of unity, especially when it comes to spiritual matters within the house and out of the house. Wow. We'll always be called mm -hmm. Mm. when our children go to school. Mm -hmm. Your son is a drunkard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your daughter is this. Mm -hmm. Like now this problem which has always taken the headlines, mm -hmm. which we have. Mm -hmm. And when you come to school, mm -hmm. you're called or wherever place your son is, is mm -hmm. when you start questioning yourself. Mm -hmm. Is it true that this son of mine I'm seeing always at home, mm -hmm. being a drunkard? Mm -hmm. That is when you'll be surprised. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you never took charge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The 21st century man. Be in charge. I plead with you. Mm -hmm. Be in charge. Be in charge. Wow. Mm -hmm. So that at least we may prepare for the next generation. Mm -hmm. We may prepare for our family. Mm -hmm. When the trumpet shall sound and time shall be no more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We will be questioned. I told you to take care of them. Mm -hmm. Where are they? 
Wow, wow, wow. This is the show. This is the show mm -hmm. where we talk about real issues affecting mm -hmm. real men. Mm -hmm. And and as as he's just given his parting lines, mm -hmm. my, my brother says, a time of reckoning will come mm -hmm. when you will be asked, of them that I gave you, render an account. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so the 21st century man mm -hmm. must remember that as a priest, he sets the spiritual tone. Mm -hmm. He's going to render an account. Mm -hmm. He's going to give an account mm -hmm. for which direction he led the man in his life. Mm -hmm. And this one is not only the man who, it's not only for the elders. This mm -hmm. is not a message to the elders. Mm -hmm. We are talking of the 21st century man. Mm -hmm. When you're a man out there, mm -hmm. you will be held accountable for the man you've misled. Mm -hmm. When you're a man out there, mm -hmm. you will be held accountable for making others think it doesn't matter mm -hmm. whether you're spiritual or not. On this show, we talk about real issues. Mm -hmm. And I welcome you to continue joining us. In our next episode, we'll be proceeding from just where we have stopped today. Mm -hmm. This is not the end of it. We are going to talk about the responsible man. Mm -hmm. The man as a king. Mm -hmm. The man giving direction. Mm -hmm. Amen. May the Lord bless you. Amen. And may the Lord keep you.